University of Michigan and Loala. And if you have any mentorship questions, uh, just send them to our nice Instagram. And well, now we are going to start our Q&A with the best questions that you all have sent. So this one is general for any of the speakers. Which part of the application process do you think that was the most challenging one? Um, I guess I could take it away. Um, personally, I found the short ans the short answer questions to be um, quite challenging. Uh, I'm not someone who used to love writing, so I thought that would be the easiest. But I actually find saying something in a hundred words or less makes you have to be very specific and straight to the point. And yeah, but once you get um, get to writing, cutting down, I wouldn't recommend like writing 400 words for a hundred words or less response because you would have to cut it down so much and that is much harder than I think. So I think the short answer questions, definitely the hardest. Thank you. And uh, well, the next, so does international students need to have uh, international medals in scientific olympiads oh not at all i actually did not participate in any olympiads or national scientific competitions international scientific competitions um yale is very free so in the application if you do declare engineering you will be asked to write essays on engineering but once you come in if you could come in as any major that you represented on your application, but you are allowed to switch within the first two years. So you could have applied as a political science major and you can literally say, hi, I'd like to be a chemical engineer. And you have no problem taking classes to be a chemical engineer. You don't have to do um, extracurriculars in science just for the application. If you want to do them, do them. But you don't, don't force yourself to do them if you would not like to. Thank you. And well, another question is, how old were you all when you decided to apply to US universities and not for uh, universities at your home country? I don't think this applies as much to me, but um, when I applied to Harvard, I was 17, I think. Yeah. And so it'd be really interesting to hear from Ian and to me. Yeah, and well, what are you guys planning on studying during college? I don't know which major you are thinking to take. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go next. Uh, to answer the previous, I was 18 um, when I decided to apply to American colleges and applied when I was 18 as well. And my major, I'm currently a mechanical engineering student. But there are different types. There's ABET, which is accredited by the Society of Engineering in America or something, and the Bachelor of Science, which one has more classes than the other. I've... I can go next. I am obviously still considering different concentrations because 
that's Harvard speak for major, but I'm looking into environmental engineering and public policy as of right now. Um, well, to answer the previous question about um, how old I was when I decided to to apply to universities in, universities in the US, I don't really remember a specific age, but I always wanted to try to to apply to universities in the US because you know if I if I didn't apply I would never know if I I was capable capable of getting in so I applied to both universities in the US and universities in Puerto Rico and as for what I'm going to be majoring in uh, I'm interested in biomedical engineering but I'll be majoring first in uh, mechanical engineering and then complete a, ma a master's degree in biomedical engineering Great, thank you guys for answering. Now, um, did you apply more than once for YYJ? Uh, no, I applied once in my senior year. So it's a great thing I got in because if I didn't, then I wouldn't have been allowed to um, apply again. And then I can answer next. I also applied once and uh, I got in <laughs> and it was the summer after 10th grade when I attended YYGS. Yeah, and did you apply only once or, I don't know, twice? There are some people that applied twice sometimes. Um, I actually applied twice. Um, the first time I applied, I, I really didn't think my essays were uh, really sincere. I tried to, you know, fit into like a specific box and I was rejected. But I learned from that experience and the second time I applied, I really tried to let who I was shine through in the essays and I I got in and it was a really good experience. That's great. And now starting the next question with Augustine. For how many universities did you apply to? Thank you. And so I decided to apply to nine, which compared to my peers, I feel like is actually kind of low because I, from what I've heard, the range um, that a lot of people like to apply to is like between like 15 and 20. But I just personally felt like it was better to dedicate my time to the universities I could actually see myself going to, as well as obviously some safety schools. And so I ended up getting into most of them, including Harvard, which is my dream school, which is really exciting. Great, and how about you, Tambi? I believe I applied to between nine and 12 or 13. I cannot tell you the exact number um, because I applied to schools before I went to YYGS actually. Um, and I had a place to start university in the year of 2019. But I decided not to go because my brother was in university. Um, but I applied to schools in Canada as well as schools in the US. So it should be nine to fifteen. Um, I believe I applied to around 11 schools, um, one in Puerto Rico and around 10 in the US. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I ended up getting into around four of them. But I originally had like 20 schools I wanted to apply to, but I, I decided at the last minute that I, I, I wanted to focus on the schools that I was really interested in, and especially MIT, which was my top choice. And yeah. What was the greatest thing about YYJ in general? I have to give that over to the people, the individuals, what even oh, the students, the staff, the, everyone was so nice. The dining hall staff were amazing. The ice cream is uh, everyone. Oh, the ice cream we had was so good. <laughs> um, but one thing that I found to be the greatest, it was actually my 18th birthday during YYGS. And one of my seminars, like seminar discussions, they went around the table and they sang happy birthday to me in like 12 different languages. And that was the pinnacle of YYGS. That's great. And how about you, Ian? I would say I have a, a very different experience because um, when I when I attended, it was a virtual uh, program. But even then, I would say that the it was a really good community, and I got to meet a lot of really cool people. And uh, 
the seminars were really interesting and I got to explore a lot of my passions. So it's it's just a great opportunity. Thank you. And now I'm going to just to finish our Q&A session. Thank you. And so I don't mean to be cliche, but like everyone also said, the people, but obviously, you know, like the opportunity also to delve deep into your studies. Um, I just found that the opportunity can, to connect with so many amazing people who are obviously passionate about what they do, um, but also, you know, like extremely smart in so many ways. I feel like that was so inspiring and that um, in my journey actually motivated me. But I remember one distinct memory from YYGS where um, I actually had breakfast one time and this was during the in-person, right? I attended in-person. Um, and we actually represented almost all the countries of South America and then the YYGS Instagram account actually reposted us. So that was really cool, but I do feel like the people are so amazing and this is really like a once in a lifetime opportunity if you can go. So definitely apply.